So, this top here has kept this imprisoned down here. So, we are independent. When you're independent, you don't need God. You can figure it out. I'd like to see somebody that's figured out something lately because I don't see anybody getting it done. Well, if we can't figure it out, we ought to become dependent and get this thing here dependent on the Spirit of God in us. For in our dependence instead of independence, the Holy Spirit can begin to give you the answers you need. So it's the time to lose your independence and become his dependent. Yes. You'll be on his tax roll too. Yes. He, if you are his dependent, he's going to feed you. He's going to take care of you. Yes, he's going to supply every need you have. So it's time that, that in tongues, every one of you that were born again, uh, when I was born again as a Baptist, I didn't know it, but I was had the gift of tongues in me. And I tried to produce it up here. It won't work. Finally, I give up and it started producing here. So, these gifts are already in us. And you all want a visitation. I may disappoint you because I don't think you're going to get one. Because he wants a visitation. And it's time you give him a visitation. And give it to him often. For the heavens are open continually. Every day, every moment of the day. His door is open to you. So, my job is to try to show you what you've already got. Now, how do you hear from God? You have five senses. Every decision you make, you make it out of one of those five senses. It's like, if I've got a loaf of bread in my hand, and I ask you, what do you see with your eyes? You say a loaf of bread. If I told you to close your eyes, and I say, I've got a loaf of bread in my hands, what do you see with your ears? A loaf of bread. If your ears are closed, and your eyes are shut, and I put this loaf of bread underneath your nose, what do you see with your nose? A loaf of bread. If I take a piece of this loaf of bread and I put it in your mouth, what do you see? You see a loaf of bread. If I lay this loaf of bread in your hands, what do you feel? A loaf of bread. So much that the church has been talked against your feelings. This is where the angel activity happens in your feelings. And it's like, I'm going to take some of you, I'm going to take y'all up today. Some of you are going to say, huh, I didn't see anything. All I do is feel peace. That is the greatest thing you can see. That is the greatest feeling you can have. So, it's time that the church goes through the open. I don't think the heavens have ever been closed to the righteous. I don't think that the heavens, the open heaven has ever been closed to the church. Is the church closed it down here? The church locked it out. Now we've got to open it up and get into it because we have not got the answers up here in our independence. We have really now for 
really sincerely now we better start being dependent on him to give us the answer but we all should be uh, talking to him daily about it we ought to visit him and make some requests known so a lot of years ago i found out when things come at me i could uh, i could escape uh, persecution I could escape. I found out that I was an eagle and I can fly above the darkness. But so are you. Every one of you have the same ability I do. An eagle, when something gets after him, he flies directly into the sun. Nothing can follow him. If it's dark clouds down here, he can go above the dark cloud. He can fly into the sun. He's got a filter over his eyes. And it's time that the church flies high and flies into the sun. Starts a relationship, intimate relationship with the sun. And you'll beat depression. You'll beat anxiety. You'll beat fear. Because you can't take that with you. Because it would weigh you down. You shed that and go up. So Bunny just turned to Colossians 1.13. I'd like for you to read that. And now, being a, an ex-Baptist, I'm a Baptocostal now. <laughs> I believe in rapture. I believe you should get raptured several times a day. <laughs> and what she's going to read you here really means rapture. Colossians 1.13 from the Amplified. The Father has delivered and drawn us to himself out of the control and the dominion of darkness and has transferred us into the kingdom of the Son of his love. This darkness here, escaping or metamorphosis, coming out of this darkness of the mind into the light of your spirit. This literally like a metamorphosis or, or translated or raptured from the darkness of your mind into the kingdom of light of what you are. You're a light being. You're a children of light. And you need to dwell in the light and depend on the light more than you do in your own mind. Your mind was meant to hear and be the spokesperson for your spirit. So, there's coming a time now where the mind, by the way, in scriptures is a worm. But metamorphosis takes place. He gets down here as a butterfly. It's beautiful. It can fly. And more than that, it can reproduce thousands of times a year. So, when we begin to move in the Spirit, we're on the verge of some of the greatest reproduction you've ever seen. You see three or four people get saved on the Sunday? What are you going to handle with three or four thousand? It's a preparation for it. So if you turn over to Ephesians 2, 6. I'm just trying to show you. It's already a done deal. The enemies kept us blind to it. And he raised us up together with him and made us sit down together, giving us joint seating with him in the heavenly sphere by virtue of our being in Christ Jesus, the Messiah, the Anointed One. You already seated with him in heavenly places. Uh, I think I'll let you read the seventh one too. I'm going to add seventh verse here. He did this that he might clearly demonstrate through the ages to come the immeasurable, limitless, limitless, surpassing riches of his free grace, his unmerited favor, in his kindness and goodness of heart toward us in Christ Jesus. You know what free grace is? Leading people to the Lord. <laughs> 